YouTube, what's up? It's really Rick, and um, I just got back from spending 24 hours in the hospital. Um, that really wasn't that fun. Um, just to give you an update as to what happened. Yesterday morning, um, I just wasn't feeling really good at all. Um, had a fever, was shaking, was very nauseous, had a headache. And then I started to have chest pain, and that's when I knew that something was wrong. So I uh, asked to use my friend's cell phone, and I called 911, and I called the ambulance. And uh, they got here, and they took my blood pressure, and it was kind of sky high, and my pulse was really high. And uh, so they put me in the ambulance, and they hooked me up to the EKG machine. And the paramedic said, um, sir, there's a 7% chance you're having a heart attack right now. And we're going to have to take you to the emergency room with full lights and sirens. And I kind of got a little freaked out. Um, he's like, there's an abnormality in your EKG that could be indicative of some damage. And in my clinical opinion, we need to take you. So uh, it was not fun. I was just feeling totally horrible. Um, he, they hooked me up to the oxygen. They started an IV. As you can see, I've got all the little pokes from where they drew blood and everything. Um, they put nitroglycerin under my tongue, they gave me aspirin, all that good stuff. So because I have insurance, they took me to the closest hospital, which turned out to be a private uh, Catholic hospital called St. Paul. Now, I didn't even know these kind of hospitals still existed. Um, had religious stuff everywhere. There was a big mural of Jesus in the lobby. And when I got from the emergency room to my, my hospital room, there was a big crucifix staring at me at the end of my bed. But anyway, so I get into the emergency room, and they run the EKG again. And as you can see, look, I still got all these little things on me. Anyway, they run the EKG, and they're like, okay, there's definitely an abnormality here that we want to check out. The only way to determine if you've had a heart attack is to take some blood and check your cardiac enzymes over time. And so we're going to have to admit you to the hospital. So... Uh, they gave me something for nausea, and then they gave me morphine. And uh, I was like, isn't that a little extreme? But uh, I did not like the morphine at all. That was not uh, a fun feeling and really didn't help. Um, so I stayed the night uh, in the hospital, and they kept checking my... F I was hooked up to a heart machine, and then they put these little cuffs. I got all the paperwork here. The prolaxis system you see the Floatron prolaxis system. They basically put these cuffs over my legs that sort of pumped up simultaneously to keep from blood clots from happening or something. And So um, I didn't have a heart attack. I really didn't think I was having a heart attack. I just thought there was something wrong. Um, I have, you know, something wrong with my heart called a, a bundle branch block, and it's not normal and for someone my age. But... Um, and my blood pressure uh, remained steadily high even after they gave me the nitroglycerin. And the nitroglycerin is supposed to immediately reduce your you know, blood pressure down to very low, but it was still like 150 over 110. And so um, anyway, I'm still feeling kind of crappy. I'm doing okay. I'm home. I did a stress test this morning where I ran on the treadmill and they did a sonogram on my heart. Everything's fine. Um, here's all my paperwork again. They, one thing that I wanted to mentioned that was funny. They started me on a medication called uh, Lysenopril. You can't see it, but this is my documentation from the hospital. See? Lysenopril. Anyway, it says, treats high blood pressure and heart failure. Also used in the first few days after a heart attack. Helps to reduce the risk of death by making the heart more stable after the attack. Well, that was fucking crazy here, but this is what I want to read real quick, and then I'm done. These are the possible side effects when taking this medication, okay? Allergic reaction, itching or hives, swelling in your face and hands, swelling or tingling in your mouth or throat, chest tightness, trouble breathing, blistering, peeling, red skin rash, change in how much or how often you urinate, chest pain, confusion, body weakness, uneven heartbeat, shortness of breath, or numbness or tingling in your hands, feet, and lips. How do you know you're not having a heart attack if these are the side effects? Um, fast, slow, or pounding heartbeat, fevers, chills, sore throat, and body aches, lightheadedness, dizziness, fainting, shakiness, or hunger, nausea, vomiting, or abdominal pain, 
rapid weight gain, swelling in your hands, ankles, or feet, unusual bleeding, bruising, or weakness, and yellowing of your skin or the whites of your eyes. So great. That's what I have to look forward to. And of course, the discharge diagnosis here, and there you go, UT Southwestern Medical Center, St. Paul, non-cardiac chest pain. So anyway, I'm okay. I'll do, I'll survive. Anyway, that's my update. Look, I got all my stuff I need to take off. But bye, YouTube.